What if I told you that a crocodile can change its complete look to adapt to a new environment to avoid an eye? He's a great variable of this experiment because when we first got Anakin, he was living in a light blue tub. Look at this. You can see he's like a beautiful gold, bright, bright coloration. Oi! She's a little snappy. Beautiful in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. And they'll want to camouflage with this. So hopefully soon Ziggy's gonna be like a beautiful whitish or just a beautiful blonde, blonde, light colored crocodile. Science! Ah, you can see she got the nictitating membrane just right. And she got the sparkle of this critically endangered boy's eyes. Uh, oh, I didn't see you there. What's going on, my beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife. I'm hanging out and enjoying this magnificent painting of the critically endangered Gariel, a crocodilian species only found nowadays in the Chamble River and one preserve west of the Chamble River. This species used to be all over the place, but now critically endangered needs our help. What if I told you that cuttlefish and chameleons weren't the only types of animals that could change their color on a dime? What if I told you that a crocodile can change its complete look to adapt to a new environment to avoid an eye of a potential prey item or the eye of a potential predator? What if I told you we can change the color of a crocodile by changing his environment? Well, it's all true, and I'm going to show you that today. So follow me, and we're going to go and change the colors of crocodiles. Whoa! Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, if we're going to move on to this project, there's one thing we need. We need variables. We need multiple animals to work with to test this experiment. And also, we need something to change the environment. This typical paint that you would put in a house is not going to work definitely toxic to the animals and you don't want it seeping into the water. So, we've invested in some non-toxic paint pond sealer. So it seals up a pond, it keeps the fish from dying, it's non-toxic, which is the key. We don't want anything happening to our crocodilians because they're not just our animals, but they're a part of our critically endangered crocodilian breeding program. Whether or not they're critically endangered or they're just threatened, we want to breed every species on the planet to preserve them here as an assurance colony at Channel of the Wild World. So we must use the safest paint possible. We've got this beautiful non-toxic pond shield and it's white, so it'll turn the whole entire environment into a lighter color, which therefore should change the color of the crocodilian. We got a whole box over here. We got all of our plans, uh, everything that I need to go over that's important for this research. Uh... Say something clever, smile, wave, say beautiful people. It looks like we're ready to go. But boy, you stay here and make sure you finish reading my emails. Oh, need the paint. Be good. Science, science, science. Oh, welcome back to my little uh, crocodilian crib. Come on in. Please come on in. Yes, yes, yes. Secure. As you can see, We've already started to take out most of the water. We're getting ready to capture Ziggy out, put her in a big tote for holding, and as well as Bridget. Bridget the broad snouted caiman. So we don't have time to paint all day. These are gonna be our two variables because we've noticed that after sticking Bridget into a black tub for the past five months or so, she's changed her color drastically to a darker form. Whereas when she used to be in a white tub, she was much brighter, more beautiful. She's still a darling, beautiful animal. Look at her, she's gorgeous. But she's gonna have a significant change in her coloration to adapt to this new environment after we paint these tubs. As well as for Ziggy. Ziggy the American Crocodile. She's a little bit upset, so I gotta be careful. Oi! She's a little snappy. <laughs> ah, teenagers, what can I say? Best technique to catch a croc like this when we're real upset is just simply, oh, don't jump at me. Relax. She, she's arching her back right now. She's saying, do not mess with me. I do not play any games. Oh, that's not good. She's got my special little towel right there. Let me get that towel one more time. Let's see. Even at this size, an American crocodile has enough jaw pressure to pop your finger off real fast. Crocodilians can have upwards to 3,000 pounds per square inch jaw pressure. That is enough to make your bones explode. Here we go. Beautiful, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. Relax, Ziggy, relax. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Relax. Woo. She's getting big. She's getting beautiful. And she's cantankerous, defensive. 
She's gonna do just fine once she's big enough for an outdoor enclosure. Nobody's gonna mess with her. Look at her, beautiful American crocodile. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take her over here now. Ruth! Ah, thank you very much, thank you very much. All right, so we're gonna put her up against this black background so we can get some good B-roll of her skin and how she looks. And then we're gonna look back on this about a month or so later, maybe about three months later, we'll do updates and put her in front of this black background again to compare her color change. So let's get some good shots of her. All right, now that we got her shots, we're now gonna see what size she's at right now because we definitely want to keep track of how much she's been growing. There we go. Put the tip of her tail right there. And she is about 40 inches long right now, over three feet. She's growing like a beast. We'll keep track of how much she's growing and also how much she's changing in coloration. All right, next, we're gonna put her inside this tote. Make sure it's not too hot in here. I'm gonna put some water in here as well so she can stay cool. Nice and easy, Ziggy. Nice and easy, there we go. All right, so we're gonna make sure she stays nice and cool, she can hydrate herself while she sits inside this tote. And next, we're gonna get Bridget ready to go. And we're gonna get her inside a tote, we're gonna get her measurement, get a shot of her, a nice profile shot, and then we're gonna move on to painting these tubs. All right, Ziggy's good to go. Now we just gotta flip this over, clean it out real good so we have a nice smooth surface to paint on. And now, we've gotta deal with a little Bridget, let's see. Oi! Nice and easy. There we go. A little bit feisty. I get it. I came off a little bit fast too. Look at her. Beautiful broad snouted caiman. A gorgeous yellow and black crocodilian that's so unique with those broad jaws. Let's get her over here. Get her profile shots on that black so we can compare it from a couple months from now. Alright, now that we got her profile shots so we can compare to later, we're gonna flip this measuring tape over and get a measurement on her so we can keep track of that growth. There we go, tip of the tail right there. And she is roughly 26 inches long, just over two feet long, a little beauty. Alright, let's get her into a tub, fill it up with water, we're gonna get these guys into the shade, and we're gonna get onto painting. All right, beautiful people. We've gotten a majority of that algae scrubbed off the side so it's easier to get that paint to stick to that surface. Now we're actually drying it down with a towel. So it's much, much easier. And it's a smooth process. It's blistering hot outside. But <laughs> if you're gonna do science, you might as well dress up in a giant, hot, heavy uh, scientific trench coat. But that's fine, that's what it's all about. You can't just do the science. You gotta walk the walk, talk the talk, wear the wardrobe and spit the facts. And the facts are it's hot as crap right now, but I don't care because it's science and I love science. Let's paint these tubs. Woo! All right, just gotta dry off the broad snout enclosure, Bridget. Make sure it's nice and dry. It's almost there. Got all the algae off and huh, that's a beautiful towel. I'll have to clean that later. Let's get this paint ready to go. So I think you just pop it off. Need like a screwdriver or a knife or something to pop that. Knife! Oh! <laughs> Real tactical, Ruth. I like it. I like it. All right, let's get this baby cracked open. Get it right in between. There we go. And there we have our beautiful mix right there, which has to get mixed with this dose right here. There we go. Ah, that's science right there. Look at that. Oh, science. So this should actually settle in about an hour. So let's get this moving. Get all that paint out of there. Gonna have to use something. Oh, I shouldn't use this knife. It's a, it's a good one, but it's a better one for mixing. Let's get it all mixed up. Get that solution all together so we have a good mix. Look at that. Oh yeah. All right, just mix it up real good. Try not to keep your face right over it or you're gonna engulf those, those fumes. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get that all mixed up. Tap that knife real good. There we go, put it into the pan. There we go, man. Yes, yes, I love it, I love it. Live it, love it, cover girl. All right, get the rest of that. Just splatter that around. I love science. All right, let's get our roller good to go. Let's just roll it on through. Oh, it's having trouble rolling. All right, let's get it right there. And let's start getting on that first layer of pond ceiling paint. Look at that beautiful white paint. We're gonna make sure it's a nice solid white and there's no black breaking through that. 
so it's a nice solid surface that they can begin to adapt to and they'll want to camouflage with this so hopefully soon zig is going to be like a beautiful whitish or just a beautiful blonde blonde light colored crocodile after a couple months of living in this nice brightly colored environment look at this this is going to be cool Woo i love to see a project come together it's amazing painting montage go okay okay i think he just called for a paint montage he just I think he just called for a painting montage. I think that's like French for like, I don't know, like a collage of things. It means a paint montage! You know what I just said? I gotta spread that paint like I'm spreading the bread. I'm Tetris Wildlock. I like to paint these tubs. I wanna change the colors of my crocs. You know it rubs me real rough when I think of an idea and I can't get it out. So I guess gotta whip out the camera and show you what I'm thinking about Cause I'm a crazy unscripted mother lover from the down underland No I'm not Australian, I'm from Florida man But I can just say it comes in second place When you're the craziest crocodile wrestler uh, Gotta change the scientific flow, you know Better than Rick and Morty ho I'm sorry Rick and Morty I love that show but I dropped that sign to the floor. I spit that paint. I spit that paint. I be spitting and ripping and I spread that paint. So I'm over the science. Young, young crocodile. Uh, uh. I'll see you on the next one. Next montage. Alright beautiful people, as you can see we've gotten the whole entire tubs painted, all white, nice coat, it should be dry within about 30 something minutes. At the end of the day, once I'm for sure that this is all good to go, we'll fill this back up with water, we'll put our crocodiles back, let's go see what they're doing right now, we got them in a nice cool spot. Alright beautiful people, so we got this nice Chiquilla shade, a big fan blowing down, and of course both crocs have ventilation holes on the sides and they got cool water to sit in for the rest of the day. They'll be fine right in there, nice and dark, keep them calm. I think uh, while they're relaxing, we should go check up on another, another variable, uh, Anakin the saltwater crocodile. Uh, Anakin the saltwater crocodile, my favorite reptile on the planet, the largest reptile on the planet. Saltwater crocs getting over 20 feet long being the record. They are a beast of a reptile. And Anakin is a great example. Let me make sure I don't get my finger taken off. Anakin is a great example there we go. He's a great variable of this experiment because when we first got Anakin, he was living in a light blue tub and he had neon gold colors. Let's show, show a little clip of that when I first put him in the tub. Look at this. You can see he's like a beautiful gold, bright, bright coloration. And then he went from that bright blue tub to our facility here at Chandler's Wild World in this black tub. And of course, now that he's in a black tub for the past, I don't know, two weeks or so, you can see he's gotten dramatically darker from when we first got in him. So he's adapted to his environment. And this is the opposite of what we're trying to do. So with Ziggy and the Broad Snout came in Bridget, you're gonna see them drastically change brighter to adapt to the white coloration. Eventually, we're gonna paint this tub white as well so he can go back to looking like a beautiful gold saltwater crocodile. He's still beautiful, but notice how much darker he's gotten. Now. Why do these animals do this? Why do they adapt to change their colors? There's a few reasons. One, better camouflage when hunting, better camouflage to avoid predators. Another thing would be is to absorb more heat. Crocodilians will literally turn darker to help them absorb more heat. Black absorbs heat. So the darker the crocodilian gets, the more heat he can absorb when it's too cold outside. And then when it's really, really hot, the crocodilians will be a light, light coloration, so they don't absorb too much heat and overheat, because even though it's a reptile and they need heat to function, they can't have too much of it or they'll overheat and die. Crocodilians, one of the most advanced animals on the planet. The most modified heart out of all the animals in the animal kingdom. They can hold their breath for a couple hours. They can stop the blood flow to a wound, preventing them from bleeding out. They can live over a hundred years in captivity and they can change color to adapt to their environment. Guys, if you wanna see cool experiments like this, you wanna see updates on this experiment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, your family, give it a like. Woo! If you wanna see more crazy experiments like this where we show off the crazy adaptations that animals have to survive. Woo! Like being snappy. All right, guys, I love you. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, 
Check us out on ChandlersWildlife.com. Get your own merchandise, get your own stickers, get your own jackets. You guys buying any of that stuff helps support the build out of this big, beautiful place, this conservation facility. If you want, you can also contribute. There's a contribute button and you can help us afford to pay for all the fencing and all the crazy stuff we have to do to make this place wonderful. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams. Stay passionate and everything will fall into place. I'll see you on the next one. Ow, ow.